टुडे वी स्टार्ट द मैक्सिमम प्रिंसिपल ओके फर्स्ट वी स्टार्ट अबाउट स्ट्रिक्ट पार्शियल ऑर्डर स्ट्रिक्ट पार्शियल ऑर्डर स्ट्रिक्ट पार्शियल ऑर्डर गिवन ए सेट ए गिवन ए सेट ए a relation on n a relation on a is called a strict partial is called a strict partial order on a if it has the following two properties fast non non reflexive the relation the relation e never holds transitivity if a b and bc hold b related to c then a related to c hold okay next we discuss about the maximum principle let a be a set and let this be a let this be a strict partial strict partial order on e then there exist a maximum simply ordered subset b of a then there exist a maximum simply ordered subset b of a okay now we give a example one okay a b any collection of sets and is a proper subset of is a strict partial order on a a is any collection of sets and the relation the relation is a proper subset of is a proper subset of is a strict partial order on a
सपोज ए इज द कलेक्शन ऑफ ऑल सर्कुलर रिजियन इन द प्लेन इट इज दिस पोर्सन सपोज ए इज द कलेक्शन ऑफ ऑल सर्कुलर रिजियन इन द प्लेन so one maximum simply order sub collection of a consist of all circular region with center at origin okay then one maximum simply order sub collection of a consist of all circular region consist of all circular region with center at the origin if x0 y0 and f1 x1 y1 are two points of the plane r square and define x0 y0 related to x1 y1 if y0 equal to y1 and x0 less than x1 this is a partial ordering of r square under which two points are comparable only this is a partial ordering of r square under which under which two points are comparable only
if they lie on the same horizontal line. The maximum simply order set are the horizontal lines in R square. Now we start with some definitions. Let A be a set and let be a strict partial order on A. If B is a subset of A, an upper bound on B is an element C of A. is an element C of A such that for every B in B either B equal to C or B related to C a maximum element A maximum element of A is an element M of A such that for no element A of A Does the relation hold? Now we're going to this lemma, John lemma. We write the statement of John Lemma.
if every simple or our subset of a has an upper bound in a then a has a maximum element We define this A less than or equal to B if A is related B if either this or A equal to B. Then the relation this one is called partial relation. Then the relation is called a partial order on A. For example, the inclusion relation this on a collection of Sets is a partial order. Whereas proper inclusion is a strict Whereas proper inclusion is a strict partial order. Okay. Now we also know about that if partial order. Where is this portion? Let this be a strict partial order on the set A. Define a relation on A. by letting if either or a equal to b then this relation has the following properties which are called partial or are axiom
which are called the partial order axioms first a related to a for all a belongs to a to a related to b and b related to a this implies that a equal to b number 3 a related to b and b related to c implies a related to c this one is the definition of partial order okay now now we also discuss about one lemma kuratowski lemma John's lemma implies the following lemma. We just write this statement. Let A be the collection of sets Suppose that for every sub collection B of a that is simply ordered by proper inclusion the union of the elements of b belongs to a then a has an element that is properly contained in no other element of a A has an element that is properly contained no other element of A. Okay, let A be a collection of sets. Suppose that for every sub collection B of A that is simply ordered by proper inclusion, the union of elements of B belongs to A. Then A has an element that is properly contained in no other element of A. Okay.
Now stop here.